Hey, yo, what's going on, guys? Your boy Pony Montana, and today we're gonna be going over sort of like a little mini kind of ebook coming out of the Dolphins playbook. Now, before I get into it, if you guys could do me the favor of like the video, subscribe if you are new, comment down below anything that you guys might be struggling with, um, or just comment FTA. It doesn't matter what you comment, FTA for the algorithm. Uh, you guys know the vibes already, man. It helps push these videos out more and more and more. So if you guys are struggling with anything, offense, this is what this video is gonna be about. So, you know, share the video, like the video, whatever. So let's get right into it, man. We're gonna be coming out in the gun split close. And I am on a mission this year and if you guys want to tune into that mission we are trying to win a super bowl almost every night with a different playbook and i just so i dropped the spread playbook um and like two two plays that i kind of used to win a super bowl out of that playbook so today i'm i'm dropping this dolphins gun split close little mini ebook type of situation um because <clears throat> excuse me because i ended up winning a super bowl with it but I didn't know how versatile this offense can be. So this might be a long video, but obviously we're going to go over uh, so some of the main plays that I utilized in this formation. So for my audibles, DBL ends, you can substitute this with um, not the trail play, this halfback wheel play. Why? Because if you guys are being blitz super heavy, this is a very, very good play to utilize the, the running back on the route that he's currently on. So this play right here, I'm actually going to use this and substitute this in. Now you can run two kind of different versions of this. Now, before I go into the audible specifically, there are two different kind of audibles that you guys can do in this formation. Number one, you can audible into a three tight end, <clears throat> excuse me, a three wide receiver one tight end a 311 formation okay a 31 and what that means is we have three wide receivers so we have andre reed herman moore and we have uh tyree kill and now we have our tight end here at the fullback position so you just you just move your right stick and you slide it over and you can have a tight end at fullback if i use my little squiggly squiggly lines if you guys can't see it it is right here it says tight end at fullback and if i keep swapping that over it switches it switches the package pretty much and what that happens it allows you to change the kind of audibles that you are able to go into which means that you can go into any play that has three wide receivers one tight end and one running back so you know you can go into tight y off you can go into gun tray bunch wide tight slots doubles doubles flex a lot of different formations right now there's another there's a flip side to it if you guys want obviously there are some formations that are in here you guys can go into bunch tight end yada 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 i don't even know if there's a good play this stretch play is actually really good out of uh out of that and i believe there's a good play in here as well the switch comeback again you got a lot of different options when it comes to this but this formation is very very versatile because because of those packages now you can also do this and then after doing that you can substitute another tight end in one of these in one of these positions the wide receiver positions so now i have george kittle here and now all of a sudden i can audible to any two two one set any two one two sets you got two two running <clears throat> excuse me two wide receivers two tight ends one running back and it gets it gets it gets even crazier so say we don't do that and we go ahead and we leave our uh we leave our fullback at halfback or excuse me leave our our packages exactly how they are with two running backs and then if i substitute a tight end here you can actually audible down to formations like i form close now obviously if i sat here i can i can be here all day with uh certain different routes and combinations that you guys can you know potentially utilize so instead we're just going to go over a couple of the main plays that i just kept on running on people to pretty much frustrate their life uh even more than uh than i intentionally wanted now for personnel reasons we're gonna go ahead and keep our andre reed here and we're gonna keep tyree kill here just so we can have a bunch of speed on the field pretty much so we're gonna go ahead and pretty much say that you will want to have a hot route master for this entire video hot route master is a must but if you don't have hot route master you're going to need you know some slot apprentices slot apprentices will work on every single formation in this playbook but obviously if you guys are choosing to audible into something else that's when you might need you know wide receiver apprentice or outside apprentice and stuff like that so we're going to be maining two separate plays here and we're going to start off calling the dolphins p8 pivot dig and on the defensive side we're just going to call a random defense so if we end up getting blitz super heavy 
you guys know why because we're calling random defenses so we're going to go over a couple of the route concepts that i utilize to dominate the opponents and frustrate them as much as possible so i'm just going to put this here now it doesn't really matter which side of the ball you run this to uh, but i'm starting it off here simply because we can always max protect and once you max protect it allows you to have some of the best uh so, some of the best protection in the game and the first thing that i'm going to go over is this play here it's a flood concept and you can either utilize the running back on a flat pattern it, it doesn't matter if you have them going out and in so you don't need a running back apprentice but this corner route absolutely cooks man and it actually cooks his own coverage now with cheetah here you can actually put him on any route that you guys want um, as long as it doesn't interfere with the route concept of the c route and this is a these those two routes are stock so it shouldn't it shouldn't interfere with those but obviously as you can see boom brings our zones up makes it pretty much very very easy to utilize and it's a very very dominant play so let's just go ahead and showcase the showcase the uh play art if you guys want to screenshot this by all means go ahead i'll leave it here for a second and that is play number one so let's reset this so number two we're gonna go ahead and this is probably my favorite route concept out of this is we're gonna go ahead and put square on a streak the solo side receiver on a streak then we're going to take our inside receiver our slot here and we're going to put him on a post route now you can leave these 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 routes un, like that are underneath you can leave them where they are so you can you guys can screenshot this if you guys would want or if you guys want a little bit more you know a quicker play you know a quicker play development you can take that outside the triangle route and put him on some sort of a flat pattern so you can put him here take you could you guys can take a screenshot of this you can put him here you can take a screenshot of this or you can motion him out and then just simply put him on some kind of a flat pattern so what this is going to do this is going to take any zone that could potentially be coming down and they're, they're going to come down for that and then this guy's going to go all the way up for this depending on if they're in a cover two or a cover three but both zones that will that should occupy that specific route the post route those will be pretty much held down and then if they are in man coverage in some sort of man, man coverage this c route here is going to absolutely cook man coverage pretty much like 80 percent of the time which really really helps so let's call it real quick and look where x is beautiful exactly where we want it beautiful pass makes makes our life easier and honestly that play right there had people shook they had no idea what to do um but yeah, so obviously your first read when it comes out of this, you're going to sit there and try to hit that that quick short route first. So you're going to try to hit the running back first. Then you're going to look at the streak because you're you're going to wait for the C route to develop and to see whether they're going to end up breaking off of that main coverage. So of course, you're going to keep on looking back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. And then the post route is going to be your last read simply because, again, now x is wide open and we're gonna throw it easy and i told you these routes absolutely destroy man coverage and make your life 10 times easier oh my god he actually that's a great tackle now let's go ahead and call timeout because those are really the only plays that i ran out of this if you guys have a different kind of setup by all means please leave it down in the comment section oh actually one setup that we can actually run out of this is this right here with the wheel route coming out of the backfield really really good combination that is going to make your life a lot easier because if you guys are being blitzed heavy um having the option for both guys to be on wheels is just a godsend and you guys will be very very happy to have these coming out of the backfield pretty much because if they're blitz one side or the other, you can sit there and hit one side or the other and make your life 10 times easier. Now, granted, the route concept there is not what you're, you're going to want to run. I'm just simply showcasing that you guys can have both wheel routes coming out of the backfield to make your life a little bit easier. Now, let's call a timeout and go over one of the other plays because this is, a, in my opinion, a very crucial play that you guys need to learn. And that is the halfback wheel. So again, boom. And then we're going to back out of here and call a random play. Now, in when you call this halfback wheel, one of my favorite things to do is motion in this formation. Um, and this is gonna double as a cover three beater as well. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this, put the team in a cover three. Now, granted, disclaimer, if you guys are running any type of coverage beaters, it will be a situation where 
it will be frustrating if you guys are trying to go go for it every single time so for this we're going to go ahead and put square in a on a streak and then we're going to take o and motion him over and as he's mo being motioned over we're going to put him on a post and again you need hot route master for this but as you can see o wide open easy 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 route <clears throat> but again you guys cannot forget to sit there and hit those routes that are underneath obviously your first read when it comes out of this are going to be both both running back routes coming out of the backfield and then you simply just have a quick flood concept with these routes here so what i mean by that is this route here is going to bring down anybody that's underneath this route if it develops fast enough is going to bring back any of the deep blues here which is going to allow your corner route to be wide open which allows this to be a very 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 easy route for those of you guys who are struggling to make your reads this is a very very easy play so again stock play very easy to run and if you guys are trying to run that uh the run commit trick especially with the two with the two running back set you guys can completely dominate out of this as well now a very very good concept that you guys can run if somebody is running spinner on you which is one of the best plays in the game which is one of the best defenses in the game so let's go ahead and put these guys in spies so that they don't get crazy in animation here um now the wheel route that is coming from the left side is a very very good wheel route why is that because you end up getting one of those animations which is one of the best animations in the game and it's very very consistent as soon as you see that guy blitzing down you're going to be able to pretty much hit him very very fast now granted that's a horrible an animation by brunel hopefully your quarterback has a better throwing animations for those short routes but we want to be we want to be able to sit there and hit those routes as you can see it's going to be difficult for them to even try to play that route because of the angling of it so an easy way to do this <clears throat> is to put square on a streak and this is only if you're facing someone who's heavy blitzing so again we're coming out of dollar and we're coming and we're facing we're, we're facing spinner right coming out of dollar we're facing spinner we're going to go ahead and put square on a streak and then we're going to put o on a slant and then we're going to motion o over okay so when you do that you're looking for either triangle here as you can see very easy route and then you're looking to try to snap throw either the slant or the streak now i'm going to show the replay on that so you guys can see so as you can see this guy ends up open and of course the flats end up open because there's nobody guarding it and the guy that's on the opposite side ends up guarding the running back so again this is one of those defenses that man coverage is going to be is going to have a hard time guarding because they have a bunch of different routes going out different directions especially with the motion and stuff like that but the motion slant is going to help beat man coverage if they press somebody as fast as tyreek as you can see he's over the top wide open but this route right here is going to be something that's bread that's money for you guys so another setup that you guys can do coming out of this specifically is something that we used to kind of run out of tight slots and that is putting a drag on on the field and this route concept is going to work a lot of the time because both of these routes kind of beat man coverage and you can also kind of put you can also put a post here if you guys would like but i'm going to leave this this route uh completely stock so we're going to reset this play here then we're going to put x on a drag and then we're going to put r1 on another wheel route this play absolute money again take a screenshot your first two reads are obviously going to be both wheel routes whichever one's open you guys are going to be able to hit one of those very very quickly and that's going to end up forcing one of the linebackers or whoever the user is to for to user one of the wheel routes again this is why this uh, this offense just ends up being extremely extremely dynamic especially if you have a hot route master but then after that you're going to look at the drag it's going to be a quick quick read and then obviously you're going to follow it up with the post over the top that's here or the in route there so obviously you guys have to pick your poison on whichever one you think might be better now there's an alternative to this play and that is the the initial play that i that i spoke about at the beginning of this and that is this double ends play uh simply because both of these routes again and i'm gonna stick you know what i'm gonna stick with dollar here 
and I'm gonna call it random three two. And the reasoning for that is because both of these routes end up beating man coverage, but this route here, it just takes a little bit longer. So that's why the, the, the other route tends to be better simply because of the wheel route that ends up happening on that route. It just feels better than the stock routes that you get when you actually call this play. But this play right here, take a screenshot same exact situation these these routes are going to destroy man coverage and you guys are going to be able to sit there and hit your routes very easily now that's a terrible throw by me but again those are going to be your repercussions your 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 wheel your wheel excuse me your wheel routes first then you're going to have the drag under, under underneath and if you guys want you guys can put these guys in streaks and this is also going to double as somewhat of a cover three beater as well because the deep blue safeties are going to end up coming down which is going to allow you actually matter of fact let me actually showcase that real quick uh and i'm going to throw this but we're going to put these guys in spy so you guys can see how this play works so again you guys can screenshot this and go absolutely crazy and if you guys have a good enough pocket as you can see oh it's wide open boom oh and we end up overthrowing that pass Let's run that back one more time. Again, I'm confident in the way that these plays work because I was able to win a Super Bowl with it. So, again, if you guys want to catch me playing these playing these games, Twitch is going to be where it's at. So, you can take either person and you can screenshot it like this if you guys would, would like. Or you guys can take this guy, the drag that's in between, and you guys can screenshot this if you'd like. So, either or, pick your poison. And we're going to go ahead and make sure that we, oh, this guy ends up wide open here i don't know i don't know what cover three we just called but i'm actually going to showcase the replay on that because cover three is a defense that a lot of people like to run because cover two is not good so if you guys are facing someone who's running zone coverage oh this guy ends up getting bumped that's why julius peppers got bumped so we got to run it one more time and that's pretty much going to be it because we're going to go over the run plays and that is pretty much pretty much going to be over so we're going to go ahead and call cover three and I'm going to get on the O-line. And boom. You're simply just going to look at the safeties here. And I know I didn't go over every single defense to, you know, kind of better utilize exactly what it is that we run. But, again, we're going to wait for that guy to pick, to pick his poison. And, again, even if that guy follows him, the wheel that's on either side is going to end up open. And I'm, I'm actually going to showcase that. So even if you can't bomb them over the top like I attempted to here, because this guy does not this guy does not get dragged down by the wheel route here even if that doesn't happen these wheel routes end up wide open on the sideline here so if you pass lead this towards that outside here you guys are going to get an easy click on where you guys are going to be able to sit there and catch that ball as, as you can see this guy wide open this guy kind of wide open i don't know why this guy's not following him up here but this guy is this guy is kind of open and this guy is wide open so that's why we kind of utilize those double wheels and i'm telling you it it worked like a charm for me so i'm sure it'll work like a charm for you as well so let me let me run that back one more time because again i feel like this is a very good play that oh, oh I, I i streaked the wrong person last time that's why so let's do this one more time and again triangle you can throw the triangle oh that time he actually they were too late but you can throw that two triangle again let's try this one more time and this time we're not even gonna this time we're not even gonna put the guys in spy so you guys can actually see that the play works regardless uh of of what kind of route is here so again o's open r1's open r1's open r1's open i hate playing these plays and it just doesn't doesn't work out like i want it to but simple cover three beater just like this take a screenshot leave it alone this is actually a cover three blitz as you guys can see boom take a screenshot get a nice little cover three beater going again there's so many different things that you guys can do out of split close simply because they have to account for the two running backs coming out of the backfield these two guys are a crucial part to this defense and having some kind of like shortened ability or something like that is going to just help you guys out a ton because your offense is going to need those routes to actually run a little bit crispier so for the rest of this just going to go over a couple of the run plays because this is sort this is sort of a this is sort of a thorough video. I'm I don't really need to go crazy here, but this here is going to be something that you guys can utilize with the quad father very very easily uh because it's a very it's kind of like an inside zone and that's kind of how it works. So again, we're going to call a random 3 2 
and it's somewhat like an inside zone. So as long as you don't don't even look at the R here, you're simply going to just hand it off to the running back. And my first broken tackle there was 10 yards in. And that's that's perfect, honestly. So let's go ahead and call it instant replay. And this is against Dollar. Granted, there's no there's no user running, but as you can see, the blocking is great here. And we end up getting we end up starting our uh, a broken tackle animation nine yards up. In my opinion, that's a dub for the day. And again, we can do that all day. Same situation. It's a dub. Anytime that we get more than five yards on any run, it is a dub. And if you guys have a mobile quarterback, and again, this is another situation, we end up getting a bunch of yards. And if you guys have a real, very mobile quarterback, you guys look at the R here. This guy here. You look at the guy that has this, this little icon above his head. This little icon, the R. Right? You look at that. And then if he stands up, you hand it off to the running back. If he crashes down, if he crashes down, you keep it. Now, the way you do this is you simply hold X or A after you go ahead for the for the, for the run. And, and that time, that was completely different. He crashed down. But I told you guys, this is just like an inside zone where you guys are going to be able to run the ball very, very easily. And I, I believe this is one of the better runs in the game. And the reason I'm posting this, by the way. The reason that this is going to be the post for for today is not only because I won a Super Bowl with it, but because they're dropping a new Derrick Henry. So um, a very toxic scheme that you guys might want to try out is Derrick Henry on one side and then the quad father on the other. And with that being said, you guys will be able to sit there and kind of switch off back and forth between running backs with these abilities. Be as toxic as possible. And that's exactly why I'm going over this. Because out of everything else, in this playbook, you can have a fullback inside run too. So uh, make sure that these are your audibles. You're going to have the halfback power O or the read option. I like the read option, but the halfback power O works very well against heavy blitzers again, in, that are are uh, trying to blitz you out of like nickel normal and stuff like that and then instead of the dolphin swirl that's where you're going to pick whether you guys want the double ends play or the halfback wheel play i personally like the the halfback wheel and then here is where i will utilize the fullback inside so if you guys want to be as toxic as possible you put one of your running backs here and then put the other dominant running back on the opposite side and let's go ahead and call this random defense so i can showcase how this fullback inside play actually works so it literally is an inside zone to the opposite end so imagine if you're playing someone and they're trying to run dollar on you and you come out in something like this and you have both options so now we got this and we're running to we're running to the left or the right and then we got the other side where we're running to you know we're going back and forth back and forth back and forth and then once if the quad father ever gets tackled behind the line and you need a different play which he shouldn't mind you you can go ahead and hand it off to your other to, to your other quarterback so Start start busting open them TVPs and uh, try to go crazy with this because it's gonna be it's gonna be a long end of the Madden season. Hopefully, you guys appreciate this is a this is a nice little you know mini ebook for for you guys. I'm not gonna expand too much on this because again, I like to play in different playbooks, so it's difficult for me to like create an entire full scheme out of an entire playbook uh, because I switch offenses so much. So hopefully, you guys appreciate this. I won a Super Bowl with this. I'm not the greatest offensive player, but I was able to 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 manage and score a lot of touchdowns in this offense because you know we just it wasn't even the quad father's fault. I promise. I was passing the ball mainly and kind of dominating with that. So again, hop in this. Let me know what you guys think. Let me know if it's something that you, that you guys find fun because the running portion, the run portion of this, if you guys have a mobile quarterback, is extremely fun. And I myself, even with Brunel, I was sitting there running the read option and sometimes confusing my players or the people that I was playing against. And it was, uh, it, it's it's just a fun thing to do. It's just a fun run to have. And as you can see. The run works very, very well out of this, especially the read option. Hopefully, you guys appreciate this video, man. Dolphins playbook. I believe you can also find this in the Niners playbook, I believe. I will look, and I'll, and I'll leave a link down in the description below so you guys can have this for yourselves. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, next playbook, I don't know which one is going to be. If you guys want to 
tune into that. That'll be on Twitch. Um, I'm probably going to randomly roll. We did the Ravens playbook and we did the Dolphins playbook. So 30 other playbooks left to end off the Madden season. And every single time I win a Super Bowl, I'll end up dropping a video like this for those of you guys who are looking for a new offense. My name is Pony Montana. Hopefully you guys appreciate the video. I will see you guys in the next one. As always, two fingers, deuces, and peace out, you guys.